God hates poverty. I hate poverty. There is nothing good about being poor. Here uh, the writer is saying to God, is praying to God, chapter number 30, Proverbs, uh, verse number 7. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Excessive riches are not good as well. You will learn that when people are excessively rich sometimes, hallelujah, uh, lest I be fool and deny thee. Hallelujah. Amen. Lest I be fool and deny thee. I'm so busy. I'm at work. I'm so busy. I'm in my business. I'm so busy. Hallelujah. Amen. So the writer here in chapter number 30 is asking for two things. Sufficiency. Hallelujah. Uh, there is a scripture that says godliness with contentment is great gain. Let us be content in whatever situation we are in, but never to be content with poverty. Hallelujah. Today, let us find sticks and let us beat poverty with sticks. We do not want poverty among us. Hallelujah. And then there is this condition called filthy rich, filthy rich. We want to have sufficiently sufficient to feed our families sufficient to house ourselves sufficient to live in this uh, uh, life sufficient to have a thriving life and work for god sufficient to travel for conventions and meetings we want to have sufficiency sister fraha to travel to france Next time you're coming to France with us, we want to have sufficiency to visit London, to go to America, to go to Africa and preach, but not to be filthy rich. He's saying, remove these things from me. Amen. Amen. Let it be our prayer today. Let it be our prayer. Let it be your prayer. Amen. Amen. Feed me with food convenient for me. Enough food, enough food, enough, enough provisions. Hallelujah. He says, if I am poor or lest I be poor and steal. You see, poverty can lead to many other things. There is nothing glorious about poverty. Hallelujah. I pray for you and your families tonight. I pray for you and your families to have sufficiency, to have sufficiency, to have sufficiency. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Any other thing, any other thing that you want us to expound on? Any other? I highlighted this, I highlighted this, the generations, generations, generations. Hallelujah. Uh, we are in our generation. You are in my generation. Some are slightly behind, but we belong roughly to the same generation. What is a generation? A generation is uh, a period. Uh, th 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 there are so many um, variances in study. Some say a generation is 60 years. Some say a generation is 40 years. We go by the belief that a generation is a period of 40 years. So if we are living together within a period of 40 years, we are in the same generation. Hallelujah. What kind of a generation are you in? <laughs> what kind of generation are your children in? It is very important. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us, if you can find me, that there was a generation that knew not God. Hallelujah. Uh, God took them out of Egypt. That was a generation that was complaining. A generation that was complaining. And uh, the journey from Egypt to the promised land took about 40 years. A generation which we believe is 40 years. So there was a generation that was complaining uh, whinging, and that is a generation that God was not happy with, that God killed. Hallelujah. 
So today I'm challenging you. What kind of a generation are you? Are you a generation that complains, complains about sister, complains about that brother, complains about church, complains about uh, economy, complains about the work of God, complains about God, you least trust in God. What kind of a generation are you? Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is my challenge to you. What kind of a generation are you? There is a generation that God delivered. A generation that saw miracles. A generation that saw mighty wonders. A generation that saw a man of God that was called out by God. Hallelujah. But that generation was the generation that complained. Just because you have an anointing does not mean you will stop complaining. Just because you have an anointed man of God does not mean you will stop complaining. If they could complain about Moses, what about us today? Amen. Hallelujah. That was a generation. Hallelujah. Amen. Then there was a generation that made it to the promised land. A generation that made it to the promised land that was predominantly made of the children of the ones that God killed in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Watch your spirit in the wilderness. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what uh, journey you are on. I don't know what your life is all about. But if God has put you in a wilderness, if God has put you in difficult situations, watch your spirit not to complain about God, not to lose trust in God. Hallelujah. You don't want to die in the wilderness. Hallelujah. You don't want your business to die in the wilderness. You don't want your potential to die in the wilderness. Keep focusing on God. Keep trusting God. Keep loving God. Regardless of situations as our brother has already preached here. Then there was a generation that got into the promised land. That was the generation that was made of people like Joshua. Hallelujah. I, I hope I'm talking to the Joshua's of our day. I hope I'm talking to the Joshua's of our time. These are the people that trusted in God. These are the people that looked at the ones that were complaining. They looked at the ones that were complaining. Hallelujah. Uh, they watched them die. Hallelujah. I don't know what you see. If you can see people being punished by God, if you see things going down because people's spirit are bad spirit, let it not be your spirit. Let not a bad spirit rub on you. Continue having a good spirit. Continue smiling. Continue rejoicing in God. And again I say, rejoice. Hallelujah. This is the generation that made it to the promised land. This is the generation that got their inheritance. I pray to God that your inheritance will locate you. I'm saying I pray to God that your inheritance will locate you. Your financial inheritance will locate you. Your health inheritance will locate you. Your spiritual inheritance will locate you. I pray that your inheritance of peace will locate you. Hallelujah. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. Your way will be a way of ascending and ascending only. Praise the name of God. Belong to that generation. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm saying belong to that generation. A generation of warriors. A generation of faithful people like Joshua. A generation of servants. A generation of people who are willing to inconvenience themselves so that they can grow in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Joshua inconvenience. Joshua fought wars for Moses. Joshua won wars for Moses. But after Moses passed away, Joshua was the king. Joshua was the leader. Hallelujah. I hope today I'm talking to the Joshua's of their generation, to the Joshua's of their time. Hallelujah. But then afterwards, afterwards, what verse are we in? Judges. Judges chapter number 2 and verse number 10. How does it read? Uh, 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 pass it to me. Pass it to me. Pass it to me. Hallelujah. Uh, did you say verse 10? And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers. This is the generation I was talking about. And there arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
there is two things that they are uh, 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 talking about the, 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 the generation is they knew not the Lord. Do you know the Lord today? Today do you know the Lord? Hallelujah. And then they did not know the works that the Lord had done. I pray to uh, I pray over your life today. I am saying I pray over your life today that you may know the works of God, that you may experience the works of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. You need to have your own testimony. Like Paul, he had his own testimony. Peter had his own testimony. Mary had his own testimony. Dorcas had his own testimony. Joshua had his own testimony. Hey, and there arose another generation after them. If you are the Joshua generation, if you are the Joshua generation, how about your children? Have you thought about the kind of generation your children are in? Have you thought about the kind of generation your children are in? Do they know to read their Bibles? Do they know to pray? Do they know? Do they know the Lord? Do they cry to say, Mother, we want to go to church. What kind of a generation are you raising in your house? Praise God. Praise God. I'm saying today, what kind of a generation are you raising in that house? Whether you are in Berry, whether you are in London, whether you are in Oldham, whether you are in uh, uh, Rochdale, whether you are in Middleton, wherever you may be, Greater Manchester or Manchester, what kind of a generation are you raising in that household? Amen. What kind of a generation is your wife? What kind of a generation is your husband? What kind of a generation are your friends? Praise the Lord. And there was a generation. Thank you very much for this. Judges chapter number 2. You can read the whole of it. But we are in verse number 10. After the generation we are talking about, they died. One day we are going to die. What generation are we leaving behind? What generation is our parents in? What kind of a generation are you in? Hallelujah. I think today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop here. I'm going to close here today. I don't want to have too much. I don't want to have too much. Uh, 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 there is a generation that curses their father. A generation that does not honor their parents. Be not the kind of generation that does not honor their parents. Parents, honor your parents, respect your parents, listen to your parents, don't talk ba back when your parents are talking, listen to them, allow them to pray over you, sometimes let them lay hands on you and pray over your life, pray over the life of your children, teach them to be a generation that does not Case they are father that does not uh, bless the, 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 uh, that always blesses their mother. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless your parents, honor your parents. Be the generation that God loves. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a generation. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes. Amen. Amen. We call these ones the self righteous. We call them the what? The self-righteous. They are self-righteous. Eh, in their eyes, they can never do wrong. Hallelujah. Yet God has not washed them from their filthiness. They have not been washed from their filthiness. They have not repented over their filthiness. They have not been washed by the blood of Jesus. They have not yet accepted Jesus in their lives. This is how we can be washed from our filthiness, by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, there are people that are, are so judgmental, that are so holier than thou, and they do not know Jesus. Hallelujah. They they are okay in their own eyes. They know how to judge this one. They know how to judge that prophet. They know how to judge that apostle. They know how to judge that man of God, that woman of God. Uh, they can destroy them. But their lives, they have not been themselves. They have not been washed by the blood of Jesus. Be not a generation. Hallelujah. Do not belong to a, that kind of a generation that is not washed, but you are busy watching people that are washed. 
making mistakes. <laughs> you are commenting so much on the mistakes of those that are washed. They are already in hospital receiving help, but you need to enroll yourself to the hospital of believing as well. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I said I'm about to finish, didn't I? There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. They are lifted up. Amen. Amen. There is a generation that wants to be involved in everything. There is a generation that wants to see, that wants to see everything. There is a generation that cannot miss out from uh, 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 this entertainment. They cannot miss out from that entertainment. Their eyes are always looking out for the next thing. Hallelujah. That does not involve God. They are always looking out to satisfy the flesh. They are always looking out to satisfy the flesh. May you be the kind of individual even if you are satisfying the flesh, may you also satisfy your spirit. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Is life and peace. Don't just be one that raises their eyes. You want to see girls, you want to see boys, you want to see parties, you want to see this. Your eyelids are always lifted up for the next thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not judging one another. We are increasing one another in wisdom. Hallelujah. May your eyes be lifted up towards the house of God. Hallelujah. Uh, David says, I will lift my eyes to the hills. Where cometh my help? For my help cometh from God. I will lift mine eyes to the hills, to the mountain. Where? To the mountain. Where cometh my help? For my help cometh from God. Lift your eyelids to God. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Do not always lift your eyes to survey. How can I please my flesh? How can I satisfy my flesh how can i gossip about so and so how can i no you are not that kind of individual hallelujah what is the last generation that we're looking at there is a generation hallelujah whose teeth are a sword and their jaw is like knives to devour the poor this is the gossiping generation from off the earth and the needy from among men you want to devour people hallelujah Paul says, uh, 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 if you devour one another, you are going to be finished. You are going to finish one another. There are some people that can devour you with words. They can devour other people. They specialize in assassinating the character of others. They specialize in assassinating the credibility of other people. They, uh, they are bloodthirsty. Hallelujah. May you not be bloodthirsty. Let this not be your generation. Let this this not be your generation. You bless and you do not curse. You have been called to a blessing. You have received a blessing. Therefore, you bless and you do not curse. Can I give you some homework? Uh, uh, try and bless other people. Try and bless other people. Hallelujah. Try and see the good that is in people. Not always pointing out negatives. Not always pointing out negatives. Hallelujah. If we get into the habit of pointing out negatives... We will never have peace. If you point negative at me, I will be looking forward to pointing negative at you tomorrow. Then you are looking forward to pointing negative at me. And, and, and someone else is looking for you. My friends are looking for pointing negative at you. Your friends are looking at pointing negative out of me. We can never survive. Hallelujah. Let us stop it today. Hallelujah. Let this be your receiving day. Let this be your day of conquering and to conquer let this be your day where you are delivered from bloodthirstiness you are delivered from bloodthirstiness if someone wants to devour others in front of you do not entertain it hallelujah tell them i bless only and i do not curse i bless only and i do not curse do you know if you have a problem with somebody if you see someone has a weakness pray for them more than talking to them pray for them pray for them father in the name of jesus i pray i pray that they may overcome this area this dark area of your life of their life let your light shine over them let your life shine over their situation let your light shine over their life let your light 
light shine over their marriage. Let your light shine over their uh, schoolwork. Let your light shine over their profession. Open a door for them that no man can shut in the name of Jesus. Learn to pray for people. Learn to bless and not to curse. Hallelujah. This is the word of God for today. We are done. We are done. We are done. We are finished. We are not in the habit of finishing all the Bible in one night. So this is it for today. So if you want to unmute yourself right now, feel free to unmute yourself and comment on the things that have been covered. The rest of the stuff we are going to continue next week with uh, some uh, with Proverbs chapter number 30. What we are trying to do this year is we are seeking wisdom and knowledge for uncommon exploits in this life. That's what we are doing this year. Hallelujah. This year we are seeking wisdom and knowledge for uncommon exploits in this life. Hallelujah. The land of the living shall know your name. The land of the living shall hear of your exploits. The land of the living shall hear your testimony. We are seekers this year. Hallelujah. We are seekers this year. We are seekers of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. If you want to unmute yourself and comment, please feel free. This is your time. God bless you. It lies to our feet and a lamp onto our feet and it lies to our path. Yes. May we continue to hear from you. May you continue to use our pastor. Yes. Healing with the Holy Ghost. Yes. So he will continue to bless us. So he will continue to enrich us, so oh God, in the name of Jesus. The rest of the day we cover in the blood of Jesus. We ask that you will be with us the rest of the week in the blood of Jesus. We yes. that you will your word will continue to be with us. Yes. That you will continue to pave way for us. That your word, we, that the beautiful Jesus will be seen in us. Yes. In all that we do, wherever we go, whomever we interact with, that we will be a generation for praise. My God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Father, for your word this night. Thank you that you will continue to, uh, your mighty hands will continue to rest upon our lives. Yes. Our family. Yes. Our children, our husbands, our wives. Yes. Your mighty hands will continue to rest on us. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Amen.